Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Ted Carr and today we're going to be talking about vegans and why vegans seem to have teeth issues. And is there anything we can do to avoid teeth issues or anything we can do to uh, reverse the teeth issues that we currently have? Let's get right into this. This is a big topic of conversation in the vegan community and in the raw vegan community. And I think I know why. I think the reason is because when we adopt a vegan diet or a raw vegan diet, we think that everything is going to be perfect. Everything's going to be okay. We're going to get rid of all our diseases. We're going to get rid of all these symptoms that we've been having. We're going to get rid of our body odor. We're going to get rid of uh, any sort of parasites that's in us. And we're going to get rid of any sort of teeth issues that we have as well. But the truth is our vegan diet doesn't cure everything. Diet is not the cure for absolutely everything. There is so much more to life than just diet. Diet is just one pillar and the reason it's so, uh, it's so often talked about is because for most people, fixing up their diet is like the quickest and easiest thing that they could possibly do and it's like a really low hanging fruit for a lot of people. If they just fix their diet, most things are gonna get a heck of a lot better. But not everything. And this is where teeth issues come into play because when people, especially people who adopt a raw vegan diet, they think that, oh, I'm doing everything naturally now. I'm, I'm eating a bunch of fruit. I'm, 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 I'm walking barefoot on the ground. I'm meditating. I'm doing yoga. I'm doing breath work. I'm getting to bed early. I'm hanging out with good friends. I'm, I'm thinking good thoughts. I'm spending time out in nature. Everything is natural. Everything is as it, as it would be in nature, right? I'm living as close to nature as possible. And so they think that because you're living so in line with nature, and every other animal doesn't brush their teeth, they think that they don't need to brush their teeth either. So you might be thinking this as well, or you may have thought this before as well. You might think that you don't need to brush your teeth, you don't need to floss, you don't need to do anything with your oral hygiene. And uh, even if you are brushing, you might just think getting away with it, brushing once a day is fine, or even brushing twice a day is fine, whatever. But if you're eating certain foods and you're eating them throughout the entire day, you're gonna have some teeth issues if you're not brushing your teeth and flossing and rinsing in between. It's super important to brush and floss and rinse your mouth multiple times a day. This is the only way to avoid having any sort of cavities or any sort of dental issues, unless you get punched in the mouth or you break a tooth or something. But if, if you don't want two teeth issues to develop naturally, then you want to be flossing three times a day, you want to be rinsing your mouth out at least three times a day, and you want to be brushing your teeth at least twice a day. At least, ideally three times a day. You don't need to, don't need to use toothpaste three times a day, but at least brush your teeth three times a day to keep them clean. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot get a cavity if your teeth are clean. You only get cavities when there's food left on your teeth, when there's residue left on your teeth. So you wanna make sure you get all the, all the residue off, all the food off, all the particles and, sh and sugars out of your mouth. Now, I do wanna say that teeth issues are not a vegan only problem. Every other person on the planet is susceptible to having teeth issues, whether they're eating a plant-based diet or whether they're eating paleo diet or whether they're eating tons of meat, whether on the McDonald's program or the McDougal program or the 80-10-10 raw vegan program, we're all susceptible to teeth issues. The reason I think that a lot more, a lot more, it seems like a lot more raw vegans and vegans have teeth issues is because we, like I said, we're so obsessed with having everything perfect about our health. We want, we want to have everything perfect. And if, if we're finding that we're having some issues in our teeth, then we talk about it. Meanwhile, everyone on the street, I'm looking at a bunch of cars driving right now. I could pull over any car right now as a police officer, if I was a police officer, and be like, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, sir, do you have any cavities? And I bet you 90% of them are going to say, yeah. 90% of the people I pull over in the street are going to say, yeah, I've had a cavity, or yeah, I've, I've been to the dentist, and yeah, they say I've got some cavities, or yeah, I have fillings, whatever. 90% of the people out there have them. The dentists are full, the dentists are seeing people every single day and most of the people who walk in there are not vegans, they're not raw vegans. They're people eating standard North American diet. So it's very important to keep in mind that it may seem like a lot more vegans or raw vegans are having this issue and it may seem like for you, you might seem like, oh, I didn't have any cavities before, now how come when I went vegan or how come when I went raw vegan, I started developing these cavities? Well, the thing about eating a raw vegan or even just a vegan diet is that Typically, we are eating a higher carb carbohydrate diet, and typically, because these foods are lower in calories, we tend to graze them throughout the day to, to, to get enough in, to get enough calories, and we eat them from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So we're eating for 12 hours a day. So we've got food coming in our teeth 12 hours a day. So the fix for this is to start doing intermittent fasting. Start eating your calories at 12 noon and stop eating them around 4 p.m. As close to that as possible. 
If you want, you can start by starting to eat at 10 a.m. and then stopping to eat at 6 p.m. That's plenty. Who needs to eat beyond 6 p.m. and who needs to eat before 10 a.m.? Really? You know, like, why would you need to eat any earlier? Why would you need to eat any later? Now, I'm sure there are some people out there who maybe they go to hockey practice late at night, need to come home and eat after. The only time they can go to the gym is late at night. They got to eat after that. Sure, fair enough. Just make sure you're keeping your teeth clean between the times that you're not eating. Very, very important. I just think intermittent fasting is a great way of keeping your teeth clean without any effort because you're not eating before noon, you're not eating after 4 p.m., and you don't need to brush your teeth between 12 and 4 p.m. You can just eat all you want and you're good to go. Plus, there are so many other benefits to intermittent fasting, which I'll get into in another video. But as far as keeping your teeth clean, it makes it really, really easy because your teeth are only dirty for four hours a day. And the rest of the day, the rest of the 20 hours a day, your, your teeth are completely pristinely clean. The other issue that a lot of vegans have and raw vegans have is they eat a lot more dried fruit. And dried fruit is like candy. Dried fruit sticks to your teeth and it can really expedite the rotting process. It can really expedite the, the receding gum process. So you want to make sure that you're avoiding dried fruit. Now, in front of me here, I have a box of dried dates. And dates are an amazing staple food for all vegans. If you're vegan and you're not consuming dates daily, get on it, you're missing out. Dried dates are extremely affordable, they're extremely delicious, and they're extremely filling. So they're, they're very practical food and they last forever. You can take them hiking with you, you can take them uh, on long walks, on, on, on triathlons that you go into. I remember I did Ironman triathlon a few years ago and I consumed nothing but dates and water for the entire race. A few days after that, I went to Burning Man in the desert. The only thing I brought with me was dates, apple juice, and hemp seeds. And I basically lived on the Burning Man diet and uh, I'd walk around and I'd, I'd feel fine, I'd feel really full and I'd look really clean because no grease was coming out of me. Unlike all the other people walking around on, in the desert and everyone's looking for showers and stuff and I had a couple of people walk up to me and say, where did you just shower? Or how come you look so clean? I didn't understand it at the time. But I realized that everyone else was so covered in, in, in dirt and mud was because the oil was coming out of their skin. They're, they're detoxing, they're eating a lot of bacon and stuff, and then the dust flies up and it sticks to their skin and they look all dirty. So if you want to eat really, really clean, dates are a really great option for that because they're absolutely no fat at all and uh, really high in carbs and just really, really delicious and they break down super, super easy, a lot, of, a lot of fiber in them. But to make dates even better, especially for your teeth, you want to soak them. So soaking your dates in water is good for three reasons. The first reason is that it makes them a heck of a lot easier to digest. Because you, you reconstitute them, you reactivate the enzymes in them, and they just digest so much easier. If you're gonna feed a little baby some, some food, which option would you give it? A dried date, it doesn't really break down, you need to really chew it up, or a soft, moist, rehydrated date. Kind of obvious, right? So same thing for you, you wanna consume the rehydrated dates. The second benefit is that when you do consume rehydrated dates, they don't dehydrate you. They don't dehydrate you anywhere near as much as the dried dates. You might still want to drink some water after or drink water with them, but they don't dehydrate you anywhere near as badly as the dried dates. So they, they, they help retain your, your, your hydration level. And that's really, really, really important. Not just for your teeth, but for your whole, your whole health and vitality. Now, the other reason why you want to consume dates is because you get date water with it. Now, date water is a product that's yet to be on the market, and uh, someone might take up the idea after this video, but here's what you do. You rehydrate your dates for a good 42 to 72 hours. Now these dates have only been rehydrated for about 12 hours, so they're not as potent here. The, the, the water isn't as, uh, as potent as it could be, but as you can see, that's some, that's some good stuff right there, man. Everyone's got to be drinking this. Oh my God, so good. Get on it for sure. Date water. Highly recommend it. Now with date water, you can add this to your smoothies, you can add it to your salads, you can add it to your soups, you can just drink it as it is. It's a great way to break the fast when 12 o'clock noon comes. Mm. And you can make it as potent or as uh, diluted as you want. Just either add more water or just let it sit for a lot longer. You let longer you let it sit, the more potent it's gonna become. But you don't wanna let it sit for more than a couple weeks, otherwise it can start to mold. So definitely keep it in your fridge when you rehydrate them, or as they're soaking, keep them in your fridge. But don't keep them for more than two weeks, and always keep an eye on them too. After the, after the first you know, seven, eight days, take a look at them every now and then to see if there's any mold going on, because sometimes that can happen. Um, but uh, once they're rehydrated, you know, they're gonna be good to go and they'll last you for up to a couple weeks, maybe even longer, depending how cold your fridge is. But then you blend them up, you drink them back, and no problem. 
So yeah, dates are absolutely great food. I wouldn't avoid them. And if you're wondering about consuming too many of them because they might make you overweight or whatever, no need to worry about that at all. Uh, they, they do help you gain weight if that's your goal. If you want to overeat on them, if you want to exceed your, your, your base calories that, that you need to maintain your weight, then you can do it much easier on dates. So if you're really skinny or you're too skinny and you want to gain some weight, dates are a good option for that. And if you want to lose weight as well, dates are a good option for that as well because you know they, they taste delicious and uh, they, they fill you up and they provide you calories in a way that you know you can you can blend them with things that are a lot lower calories like you can blend them up with daily green boost you can blend them up with spinach you can blend them up with berries and just drink that back and it makes things that are low calorie and unsatisfying really satisfying really really delicious you can even add them to your salad dressings and things like that so they're a great addition for uh, someone who's trying to lose weight and someone who's trying to gain weight um, and if you're worried about your teeth with dates well don't consume them dry and if you do have to consume them dry for whatever reason make sure you Rinse your mouth out afterwards and make sure you floss and brush your teeth afterwards. So these are some tips on how to prevent cavities and how to prevent dental issues. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, awesome. Give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you in the near future. And uh, I'm going to be making a lot more videos every day for the next while here. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll do my best to bang up more content for you. Alright, peace out. Much love.